now I did I got something ready for us before the show today and McKenna will pull it up for us okay. we're going to be doing uh, a tier list so you, okay. you're familiar with tier lists like you've a seen people bit. do them I've so, seen so they'll like rank random things like S tier A tier B you kind of rank them by how okay. good they are so I've got a list of the they're not exactly in order but because there were a couple that I just cut out because they weren't as notable um, but it's I think what is it 15 of the most expensive shoes ever and McKenna will flip the screen for us a little bit do you have them pulled up right now McKenna so we're gonna be doing a tier list and we'll we'll kind of come to an agreement of what we think are like each one should go and we'll judge them based off obviously appearance okay. kind of the the aura that kind of surrounds in the story and then the price for sure so for the bang for the buck and these are the most expensive so some of these okay. are gonna get up to like hundred ninety thousand okay. others are gonna be a couple grand Sounds but good. everything is absurd, so don't feel bad if you can't afford any of these shoes. I can't afford <laughs> I any can't of these shoes. Any of um, so right away, McKenna, you want to look at that. What do we got? The first one we've got is that the cons. We've got that. Yeah, those are converse. So we've got the converse fast breaks. These were these are the these ones were worn by Michael Jordan in the North Carolina game. Do you want to do you want to take a, just a, a guess at how much you think these? How go much for? they're worth? Yeah. Um, it's it's ridiculous. I want to say 200, 200 grand. You, you're wow. right. You're right there. I mean, this is the one. There's $190,373 okay. is what they sold for, for sure. in an auction. So, so it's a house, grand. dude. That's a, yeah, that's a nice house, you know? For sure. um, that's and, a hobby for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Um, so, I mean, it's an iconic shoe. What, what are your thoughts on it? Where are you thinking that this one should go? S tier? Is this top of the top? Is this, you know, A, S, B? You think that one's an S tier? Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty it's, legendary. It's I have, legendary. Yeah. I got the poster somewhere. We've we've got it somewhere. Well, Maybe. before he signed with Nike, he 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 was with Converse. Yeah, so well, Converse was the biggest. It was. Seller. Larry Bird was on Converse. Magic, Magic Johnson. Johnson. Everybody yeah, wore. Was. And then Jordan, he changed the game yep, with Nike. So it's mm-hmm. kind of crazy. Um, we've got the next one. There looks to be that is the Air Force One. It's an entourage. Um, it's an entourage collab with Undefeated, and I can't pronounce the last. It's it's Fukijima. F- okay. Fukijima. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> it's a Japanese brand, but they're gold Air Force One, and it was in celebration of the TV show Entourage on HBO Max. I don't know if okay. you've ever heard of it, but I've never. It, I've never watched it. My uncle's telling me about it. it. Recently came out in 2003. Apparently, it's a show that like follows people people's rise through through hollywood and like kind of oh, yeah. how it is trying to make it in the entertainment business for sure. but this shoe was in celebration of that and it goes for they went for eighty eight thousand two hundred dollars okay. um they're so pair air forces they're pair of air forces so i mean air forces are a solid shoe they nothing are. crazy they i have a couple of air forces but i i mean i'm i mean maybe i'm just like more of a simplistic guy but i think i prefer more of like the you know the all white with like maybe a colored swish or the Me black too. with or whatever the custom air forces or custom <laughs> is kind of crazy so this one i mean this is almost custom because i'm sure there's not a lot of these if they're going for 88 grand um i don't know what i would put this one at well what do you think i, I feel like i feel um, more like b or a c if you're saying the top the one over there was 200 grand i'd say c C, C C tier. I think that's a fair choice. Um, and you got people in the chat. You guys let us know as, as we're going through this, if there's anything you guys disagree with. Pat says, I touched the net for the first time in some Jordan five retros. He did. He had a blue and yellow colorway, um, which Laney actually blue. is one of the most expensive colorways, yep. I think. Yeah. And I think they're called Laney's. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think they are. Yep. And, and he had them. I mean, he beat the fuck out of them. Yep, we were in yep. like sixth or seventh grade. <laughs> so, yeah, we, 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 he beat those up, but they were awesome. I was jealous of those shoes. Um, what do we got next? We've got the Air Jordan 12s, the flu game. These are signed flu game, the flu game shoes. For those that don't know, Jordan, I forget which year it was. Which year was the flu game? Uh, they did a couple of releases. There was one in 2011. Then there was a different one that came out with suede. Which finals though was the flu? Was it the? It wasn't the 98 ones. Was it the year before? I th- I think it was 98. It was 98? It was 98. Um. So yeah, he this shoe he wore in uh, tentatively the 98 finals. Maybe it was the 97. We'd, I'm not 100 percent sure. Um. And you know, had the flu. It was the big, big flu game um, story that goes alongside these shoes. Threw up and a couple times. <laughs> these ones were. These are signed by him. A signed pair of these went for one hundred and four thousand dollars. Okay, for sure. <laughs> so pretty expensive. I mean, I actually 
really like i didn't like the 12s growing up i never thought they were really cool and as i got older i've really come to like For like sure. the design of them they got some really cool colorways i i'm not really sure where to put this one I, I feel like it's a it's definitely higher than the entourage one you know it's definitely um, maybe b or an a i say a you say a tier you're the shoe guy so you get yeah. the last word on all <laughs> these so we're gonna go a tier with that one um and so this next one is kind of cool. I don't know if you've if you've seen these. I didn't know this one existed until I was doing some research for this. These are the Macklemore uh, Air Jordan Six collabs. Uh, they're titled Cactus. Uh, went they go for twenty five thousand dollars, and there's only twenty three of them. Okay. In existence, okay. so um, they're pretty cool. They're like it's like a, a almost a suede, and it's like a yeah, it's like a really cool like aquamarine almost sure, kind of color. Sure. Um, they kind of remind me of the Travis Sixes. A yeah. Color though. Yeah, I I ca- I really like them I actually like them as a color. I've never seen them, but I would I would love to have a pair. Not I'm not gonna pay twenty five thousand dollars, but I would love to have them. Um, I don't know, man. What do you What are your thoughts? I give them C. C tier. Yeah. Okay, C tier. They're right there with the with the entourages. Um, now we've got the next one here. This one's got some history to it, so it's kind of it, it kind of sucks. It cuts off the picture a little bit, but this is a very old shoe. This was um, these are the Nike Moon shoes. They okay. were created by the co-founder of Nike, designed by him, um, and they were f- made for the 1972 Olympic qualifiers. And this is the only one of them. There's only one left in existence okay. that has been saved. These went for recent, I think it was 2017 I was reading, went for $437,000. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, there's only one pair. So they're okay. a track shoe. Uh, I forget exactly. They didn't say exactly who wore them, but they had made them for the U.S. Olympic team. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, they've only they were only able to like keep one of them in sure. okay shape. In and it's pretty beat up still. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I don't. I wouldn't personally buy them. Mm-hmm. So I buy them, yeah. I, I'm not into track, but I mean the history and the price tag is pretty crazy. I I, I feel like it's also a C tier. Like it's not. Yeah. I can't put it at D because yep. of like yep. the I'll history. You know, I feel like yeah, C tier is fair. Now we're both suckers for these ones, so I feel like these ones are <laughs> going to be pretty high. But for those that don't know, uh, these are the uh, Air Mag Back to the Future um, sneakers, the self tying. Uh, sometimes if you buy it with certain brand collabs, they have like you were mentioning, they have yep. the hoverboard now that a brand mm-hmm. made. Um, light up, self tying, ex- fr- straight out of the movie. These went for or usually go for around thirty five thousand yep. dollars. Yep. So. Um, I mean, for me, this is my dream shoe. This is my dream shoe. So, I mean, we got to put that in S tier. Yeah, it's, I think so. Too. It's the best. It's, it's like you can't beat it. We've oh, got. I've never seen. Huh? This next one. Okay. This next one. Those. This next one. There's a reason you haven't <laughs> seen this because they're in a museum. That's the only okay, one. Okay. Okay. So, the, these are <laughs> the. Um, I couldn't pronounce his name. It was a. It, he, he has like a lot of names. It's. Um, he is. These are the shoes from. These are from 1803. They are all gold and like jewels, diamond studded completely, like whatever. Uh, from the ruler of Hyder- Hyderabad. That's it, that's it's a country in or was a country like I don't know if it still is a country in the Middle East. Um, and so he was like the king esque because they didn't have necessarily a kingship. Um, and these went for 160 grand. Were bought by a museum, I believe. Okay. okay. So they're like solid gold. I would never wear them. I never. I, I think it's interesting history, but I, I, you know, sorry to the king, but I would put them all the way at the I bottom. I put them D. I'm not. I wearing don't think them. I wouldn't want them either. No, no, I feel history guilty. guy maybe, but not do a sneakerhead. We're not paying. Yeah, I feel yeah. almost guilty. So hundred percent. What do we What do we got next year? I'm trying That's to. Like l- the OVO. This is the. Oh yeah, these are the OVO um, 12s. These are the Drake editions. And these these went for um, a hundred thousand dollars. And the story behind okay. this is actually Drake, because there's there was only one pair. There was mm-hmm. a custom pair, mm-hmm. and uh, you know Jordan made them for Nike or for Drake. He wore them at a playoff uh, Toronto game. Okay, and gave Big them Toronto to fan a fan. Drake's. Yeah, so he gave them to a fan, and then the fan turned around and uh, sold them online for a hundred grand. Dude. I couldn't do it. Crazy. That's that's. Insane. I mean, for a hundred grand, maybe I'd be able to come off. Of it. Yeah, dude. I, but I mean, I feel like I would. I would just want to keep those. If Drake I'm the type of person, them. if someone gives me something as a gift, I'll never sell it. Yeah. But you know, some people are different. So. Yeah, I mean, a hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand dollars. That sounds good. <laughs> that's a lot of money. <laughs> I feel two like or three you houses. could have potentially gotten more almost for how how like 
some of these are going. I, maybe he could have gotten more if he waited for a little sure. bit. But but yeah, he sold them online for a hundred thousand dollars after that. I was Drake. I would have bought them. <laughs> yeah, buys them back. Yeah, just to that'd be, be like, insane. Fuck you, kid. I gave those to you. Um, That's funny. So I mean, this I like. This is what I was talking I like about. Drake. I really I like Drake. I like this colorway of the twelves. Yep. It's really cool with the gold and white. Um, I don't know, man. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? thinking an A tier. Man, we got two twelves in the A tier. Yeah, I do love twelves. Yeah, they're I've I've really come around on them. I for really sure, like them. This sure. next sneaker is another one I've always wanted. Red Octobers. Um, the Red Octobers, the Yeezy Red yeah. Octobers. For those that don't know, Kanye now has the Yeezy. They're with he's with Adidas. Um, make a, a really solid shoe for those that are into them. I don't have any Yeezys. I've never purchased Yeezys, but I did. I was obsessed with these Red Octobers and actually the other Air Yeezy twos because I thought they were sick. Yeah, um, cool. These go for around seventy five hundred to up to like ten grand, yep. depending on it. So. I mean, what what does our, our sneaker expert say? What would you put this at on a tier I always – I love Kanye. Um, I put him at A just because it's one of my grails too. Yeah. So uh, it's not like the Air Mags or the Converse, but I put him A. Would you – is that your favorite colorway of it? Would, that is. Of the, that is my favorite colorway. Yeah, I like those. There were the – They just he, stand out so much. Yeah, he had a black pair of those and the then a, a, the gray pair as well, yep. like the gray with the mm-hmm. green accents and everything. I don't remember the name of it, but a very cool shoe. Um – what do we have next? We have oh these are really cool. I had an interesting story. These are no, custom sure. Nike SoCal's uh, Air Force Ones. Um, they their code name so it, the full name is Nike SoCal Air Force One Supreme Maxes. Um, okay. Big boy from Outcast. Yes. Uh, he made got these made custom, um, and they have actually thirteen karat diamonds in them wow okay so expensive shoe <laughs> so very expensive shoe fifty thousand dollars actually oh, is what geez. it's sold okay. for <laughs> okay. um so these are really custom i love outcast i mean we're, me too you know i'm just a big Me hip-hop too. guy i mean i for feel sure. like sneakers and hip-hop, hip-hop just kinda go, go together they kind of sure. go hand in hand that's all we play in the shop is hip-hop so. yeah which makes sense <laughs> i feel like you know this one's got to i i don't want to like put all the rapper ones at in the a tier maybe as a b tier it's yeah i'll go b it's I'll go b. it's pretty sick i would love to have them don't have 50 grand me and, neither you know it is still an air force one so it's not like the craziest sure. thing in the world sure. but pretty cool um this next one is uh these are the solid gold um ovo okay. jordans and they uh went for two million dollars they were are wow. made of solid two gold. million that's what they, they didn't actually sell for two million they are literally there was a study done to estimate the cost because people had to okay. factor in the cost this is made from straight 24 karat gold mm-hmm. and they're solid gold so the most karat gold so they had to like Literally, there were people like gold experts that did calculations on this to like guesstimate what the price what would the be, price and it was right around two million dollars of what these would be worth. There's only one owner okay. of these, and it's Drake. It's Drake. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, he's he's absurd. I I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking A. Yeah, I feel like the gold, the solid gold, isn't like. Yeah, I don't like the shoe, but two million dollars doesn't sound too bad. So. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, <laughs> pretty insane. It is. This next one is pretty sick, and I would love to actually get. This is from Mischief, like we were talking okay. about the custom okay. brand that did the uh, Satan shoe and the Walk on Water. For These sure. are the Walk on Waters, and it's kind of shitty the angle they gave us. Yeah. But it's you can see almost a little bit. There's the cross on the top. So yeah. these come with uh, 60 milliliters of holy water in okay. the sole. Okay, I like that. Of, idea. Of holy water. I, I can't remember if it was exactly if it was from the. Uh, like the church that the pope is actually in or if it was just from some other place or no it was from the river of jordan that's what it was it oh was okay r- the river of jordan yeah. i remember reading that specifically now um and it comes with a, a cross as well like a crucifix and um yeah it's this is your if you are a a, a christian this is this is the, uh, i believe in god so this uh, is the greatest shoe ever probably sure. um i put it at b i kind of like i don't i'm not big into the uh, the black pair, but I think the black pair is a little bit more cool with the whole red bottom yeah. and stuff like that. I think it would be cool to have both and wear it one would. of each. It would. That would it go would. so hard. Super cool. That would be insane. Um, so this other this one is the predecessor to the Red Octobers to the okay. Air Yeezy Two. This is the mm-hmm. Air Yeezy Ones. Yep. Um, so they're actually worth more money right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and recently this pair specifically sold for one point eight million dollars in an auction. Okay. And is the Air Yeezy ones? I forget the name of this colorway, but it's the black with red. Yep. Yeah. So they, um, I don't. I I like the twos a lot better than this one. Me I feel too. like this one was Me a too. lot bulkier. Um, but it's still a cool shoe. Yeah. I don't know that it's quite as. It, I feel like it's B or a C. 
Yeah, what, what I'd are you say feeling? C. C tier? I like the, the twos too more, yeah. a lot more. The twos are just, they're, you can't beat that. You can't That's more it. like a collector's item just to say you have the first Yeezy yeah. or something like that. I, you think, um, you know, on the, on the topic of Yeezys, do you think Kanye made the right decision to move into Adidas? I think it did just because uh, to give people a little bit more competition or market when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like the concept where he makes more than, you know, Jordan might come out with 20 or 30,000 pairs. Well, yeah. he mass produces them, so people can't resell them for what they want to resell them for. Yeah. Because, like, the Red Octobers or the Yeezy, those are limited releases is why they go for so much money. Yeah. Well, as new ones, you could buy a pair for $160 to $180 being used. Yeah. And I like that concept. He's trying to – and he signed the deal with Gap a couple yeah, of years ago. So did. I'm excited to see what's going to come out of that. You know, I think that'll be really interesting. Do you – uh you haven't seen, have you ever seen any pair of, like, the Yeezy – um the, like, sandal – like, the – what are they called? Yeah. Like, the clucks yeah. or whatever? Yeah. So I had bought a pair for myself. Really? Are they yeah, comfy? Yeah, just no. Worst, <laughs> they worst didn't slide look I've ever. That's why I couldn't wear the worst slide. It reminded me of jail. Never been <laughs> in jail, but that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> that's funny as hell, dude. Yeah. That's what I, they just look. We it. I mean, interesting looking for sure. And if they sure. were comfortable, I would maybe swing it. Like yep. I love. I see the yep. the Sunday service gear that he's got <laughs> everybody in. The, the <laughs> outfits look insane. Yeah. They look great with with he the has slides. A crazy style, Kanye. Himself. Yeah, I mean insane he's style. phenomenal when it comes to for fashion. Sure. For sure. Um, but yeah, I didn't think that they would be very comfortable. So yeah, that's interesting. Either. That you say that. So the next one is, is again along the lines of, of weird shoes, I guess. Uh, these are Balenciaga toe runners, or okay. I'm not exactly sure what the specific name was because they were kind of being sold at a different couple different places online. These go for thirteen hundred dollars, so probably the okay. cheapest thing on the list. Um, one of the ugliest shoes on the list. I've seen in a my couple opinion. people wear those. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Have you seen like sure. these ones, the high ones? Uh, I went to San Diego. I uh, want to say three. Three weeks to a month ago, and I've seen a couple of people wearing them. You know, I look at them, I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. Yeah. I wouldn't wear them, but, you know, if you got $1,300 to put you a shoe to that looks like a sock, you yeah, know, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a flex in and yeah, of itself. Yeah, exactly. What is your thought on, like, uh, designer shoes, like designer like them. sneakers? Um, so I had bought a pair of Gucci slides a little bit ago, mm-hmm. and I wore them. And, uh, you know, I, I bought a pair of Nike slides after I had the Gucci slides. Well, I always was a lot more comfortable on the Nike side, so I kind of put the designer thing away. Yeah. But I really do like the designer. My dad buys a lot of designer shoes, so shout okay. out to him for that. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I've never been into, like, the designer shoes. I've seen some cool – I think it's Balenciagas. I've seen yep. some some cool Balenciaga, like, their runner-esque shoes. You're probably not running in them, obviously, yep, but they're, like, runner-style shoes. And I think Billie Eilish was wearing some, um, and I've seen a lot of hip hop people mm-hmm. wear them. So they they <laughs> look really cool with certain outfits. I just don't know that I would personally rock okay, them. So, okay. but there's a there's a lot of different. There's a lot of designer brands too. Yeah, there's a lot of different 100%. ones. So I'm sure there's probably one out there that I would like. But where do you rank this one? This Balenciaga. A D. D. I, I just really yeah I don't know. Yeah, I I'd have to it. agree <laughs> with you. I wouldn't be able to either. This next one is actually pretty interesting as well. This is the Air Jordan. These are Air Jordan ones. Um, and they're, uh, it's just this Air Jordan 1 silver shoe is what it's called. And this was actually a uh, birthday gift okay. to Michael Jordan from his okay. wife uh, his 30, for his 32nd birthday. So kind of a fun backstory. story. Um, and they, they go for $60,000. Okay. So okay. it's not it's probably like middle of the pack price-wise on for this sure. list. Sure. But uh, an interesting shoe. I actually had a friend who had like a pair of like neon green Air Jordan ones okay. like this, and they had like the metallic finish over yep. the top. Um, kind of interesting looking shoe. I, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I, the silver one is uh, a little bit better. I feel like I'm not sure exactly where I would rank it. I put him at B. B. B's, I think that's. I fair. think it's reasonable. Yeah. For fifty grand, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a fair. That's a fair assessment. So this is what this is what we got. We've got the the uh, Converse fast breaks that Jordan wore in the S tier, as well as the Air Mags. I think that's a pretty fair S tier. I think that's yes. right right where they should be. Um, our A tier, you could tell we uh, we like the twelves, yeah. yep. <laughs> and the red Octobers. And then yeah, you yeah. can't. I don't think you could put a two million dollar solid yeah, gold shoe no, any lower. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's pretty fair on that one. Um, and then uh, yeah, we got some. Well, we got some Air Force Ones there in the B tier, the Outcast. We got the Walk on Water. I should have put silver. those a little bit higher. I Which one, like. the Walk on Water? Yeah, ones? those are pretty I, cool. I think they're really fresh, and I I have like a soft spot for white sneakers and yeah, general, me like white shoes. Me too. I don't know what just it stands is. out. Yeah, and they just like. Like it's it, the first time f- wearing them, going outside, you know, yeah. you just get the sun on them. I I, I like that. It's one. like it's harder to keep them. It's way well, it's way it harder is. to keep them clean. It is. But it's just a great feeling going out with the white sneakers 100%. on. Them. Just super cool. So I th- I'm pretty happy with this list. What are your final sure. thoughts on this? I really like it, honestly. Would you, uh, if if any of these came into the store, would you take a small loan out to to make I, sure you can buy uh, them? 
<laughs> on that list, the only my favorite on the list because I'm a huge Jordan collector would probably be the Converse. Mm-hmm. But uh, the Nike Air Max, if someone came in with them, I would take a loan out just to have them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, dude, I I can't say that I disagree with you. I mean, yep. I w- I would like to think I wouldn't, but, but I know I would. <laughs> I don't know if someone was like these these Nike Air Max are in your yep. size, bro. Yep. Like here you go. It would be pretty tough for it me to really. say no. Um. All right, McKenna, well, thank you for pulling that up. Hey, thanks for watching there, guy. Click right over here if you want to see that episode in its entirety. Or you can click over here and subscribe to the channel. See all the other fun shit we do here. It's really up to you, guy.